Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to build something truly revolutionary in the world of AI, an agentic RAG system. Unlike traditional RAG systems that simply retrieve and generate responses, our system will think, analyze, and even improve its own questions. It's like giving your AI assistant the ability to be self-reflective and continuously improve its understanding. Let's begin our adventure at the very heart of our system, the entry point. Think of this as the front door where every user query begins its journey through our intelligent pipeline. We start with our default start node, which you can see here on the screen. But we're not just going to leave it as is. We need to make it smarter. Let's edit the properties of this start node to give it some memory. We'll add what's called a flow state. Think of this as the system's short-term memory that will help it remember important information as the query travels through different stages. Here, we're adding a key called query with the value bar. This will serve as our placeholder that gets updated throughout the process. Now comes the first critical decision point in our system. We're going to add a condition agent here, which acts as our intelligent gatekeeper. This component will analyze incoming queries and make smart routing decisions. Let me connect this to our start node. Now let's edit the properties to bring this gatekeeper to life. For the model, we're selecting ChatGPT OpenAI. We'll select our credentials and model name. Here's where the magic happens. Our instructions to the AI. Check if the user is talking about an AI-related topic or just a general query. This simple instruction transforms our system into an intelligent router that can distinguish between different types of questions. The input comes from our start node. The question from the user. We'll set up two scenarios. Scenario one handles AI-related queries. These will get the full RAG treatment. And scenario two manages general queries. These get direct responses. Let's rename this condition agent to check if query is valid for clarity. What we've just built is essentially a smart traffic controller for questions. It ensures that AI-related questions get the comprehensive treatment they deserve, while general questions take the express route. Here's where our system gets really intelligent. Let's add our first LLM node here and another one here. These will work in tandem to handle different aspects of our query processing. For our first node, let's edit the properties. We're using ChatGPT OpenAI, then we select the credentials. We'll rename this node Generate Query because that's exactly what it does. It takes user questions and transforms them into perfect search queries. Now, let's add the secret sauce, our system message. This is like giving our AI a specific job description. Example, question, what are the events happening today? Query, today's event. Example, question, how about the address? Query, business address of the shop. Question, question. Query, question is the user input as a placeholder, which is a dynamic variable. We'll add an update flow state component here, naming it query with the value question. This updates our system's memory with the refined query. For our second LLM node, we'll rename this general answer. This handles non-AI questions with straightforward responses from chat GPT, keeping things simple and efficient. Now we're entering the most exciting part, creating our system's knowledge repository. Think of this as building a super-intelligent library where information isn't just stored, but understood and connected. We need to add our retriever, but first, we must build the knowledge foundation it will search through. Let's navigate to localhost colon 3000 to set up our document store. Head to the document store section, and let's create a new one called AI-related documents. The description reads, this is a store for AI-related documents. This will be our system's specialized knowledge base. Now comes the exciting part, feeding our system knowledge. We'll add a document loader, and I'm choosing the file loader for its versatility. We'll name it Artificial Intelligence and upload our carefully curated AI documents. For text processing, we're using the recursive character text splitter. This intelligently breaks down documents into meaningful chunks that our system can understand and search through efficiently. Watch as our system processes these documents. You can see it has created 176 text chunks, 
each one a piece of knowledge that our system can retrieve and use. It's like watching our AI build its own understanding of artificial intelligence concepts. Now for the magic moment, we're going to upsert all chunks. This process converts our text into mathematical representations, embeddings, that our system can search through semantically. We're using Google Generative AI embeddings. Think of these as the system's way of understanding meaning, not just matching keywords. For our vector store, we're using FAISS, a powerful local provider that can perform lightning-fast similarity searches. With a top K of four, our system will retrieve the four most relevant pieces of information for each query. Look at this. 176 documents successfully added to our knowledge base. Let's test it with the query, what is artificial intelligence? And watch as our system instantly retrieves the most relevant information. This is semantic search in action. Understanding meaning, not just matching words. Let's head back to our agent flow and select the document store as AI-related documents and the retriever query as flow state query. Then we rename as retriever vector database. Now we're building the brain of our system. The part that decides whether retrieved information is actually useful for answering the user's question. This is what separates basic rag from truly intelligent rag. Let's add another condition agent. This one has a crucial job, determining whether the documents we retrieved are actually relevant to the user's question. Let's edit the properties of this condition agent. For the model, we're selecting ChatGPT OpenAI. We'll select our credentials and model name. We'll use the prompt. Check if the document is relevant to your user question. The input is our retrieval output, the documents our system found. Our scenarios are simple but powerful, relevant or irrelevant. This binary decision drives everything that happens next. Let's rename this, check if documents are relevant. When our system confirms that it has relevant information, it's time to craft the perfect response. Let's add our answer generator, an LLM node, we'll call generate response. For the model, we're selecting ChatGPT OpenAI. We'll select our credentials and model name. Here's the prompt that transforms raw information into polished answers. Given the question, question, and the findings, retriever output, output the final response. This instruction tells our AI to synthesize the user's question with the retrieved information and create a comprehensive, accurate response. Here's where our system becomes truly agentic. It can improve itself. When the retrieved documents aren't relevant enough, instead of giving up, our system asks, how can I ask this question better? Let's add another LLM node called Regenerate Question. This component has the fascinating ability to analyze failed queries and reformulate them for better results. The system message reads, you are a helpful assistant that can transform the query to produce a better question. And the input instruction, look at the input and try to reason about the underlying semantic intent meaning. Here is the initial question, flow.state.query. Formulate an improved question. This is AI helping AI. Our system literally learns from its mistakes and tries again with better questions. We'll update our flow state with this improved query. Select the key as query and the value as output. We'll add a loop node and then we edit the properties. We rename as loop back to retriever and select loop back to retriever vector database. With a maximum loop count of five, our system can iterate up to five times, getting smarter with each attempt. Let's save our masterpiece as agentic RAG and validate the flow. No errors. We're ready for the moment of truth. Time for our first test. Let's ask, what are the benefits of renewable energy? Watch as our system intelligently recognizes this isn't AI related and routes it directly to our general answer path. Clean, efficient, and exactly what we wanted. Now for the real test. What is artificial intelligence? Look at this beautiful process in action. Our system generates an optimized query, searches our vector database, checks document relevance, and generates a comprehensive response. 
This is a Gentic RAG working exactly as designed. Congratulations! You've just witnessed the creation of something truly special, a sophisticated agentic rag system that goes far beyond simple retrieval and generation. What makes this system revolutionary? Intelligence. It validates and optimizes queries automatically. Adaptability. It can reformulate questions when initial attempts fail. Efficiency. It routes different query types to appropriate handlers. Self-improvement. It learns from unsuccessful retrievals and tries again. This represents the cutting edge of RAG technology, combining the raw power of large language models with intelligent agent behavior. It's not just answering questions. It's thinking about how to answer them better. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey. Remember to like and subscribe for more cutting-edge AI tutorials.